everybody, it's Emmy. Today is July 8th and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous Sunday. The weather is lovely. It's probably in the upper 70s and below 80s, but the humidity is really low. The past week we've had very high temperatures and high humidity. And it's been about a week since I last checked my big hive, so I'm gonna go in there. Last time I went in, I didn't see any sign of eggs, but I didn't see any signs that there was any supersedure or swarming going on. All the swarm cups were empty. Today I'm gonna go back in and see what's going on. Hopefully I will see some eggs and more developing brood. And if not, then I'll need to look into replacing this queen. I'll also be going into my Reba hive, which was a split from this one, but I requeened it with a Grant Reba queen. Reba is the bee club that I'm a part of, the Rhode Island Beekeepers Association. That hive has been doing really well. And I'm also going to take a look at my nuke, which is my little another split that I did from this main hive which requeened itself, but the queen does not seem to be laying all that well, so I might need to replace her. I think I might actually, in fact, but I'm going to double check. I've been feeding both of the new hives syrup so they can build out new comb or dry out new comb. This hive here behind me has comb already established, so I'm not feeding this one. They have plenty of honey stores. I'm also going to go back into this big hive and give them frames of honey that I spun out already. So that box contains seven frames of spun out honey. So it's all drawn out cone. I'm gonna put that back into there. It also has one blank frame. I'm gonna put those back in there so they can fill that up. Activity has gone down a lot since this hive started in the spring, but I believe this hive has swarmed at least twice. Which I was kind of disappointed by, but in hindsight, <laughs> I've learned so much because of the swarm. I've learned how to spot my queen a lot better and just to see all those kinds of signs of swarming, I think it's been a really great learning experience. Okay, so recap, what I'm gonna do is go in there, look for signs of egg, eggs and brood, and then return these extracted frames back into this hive. And then I'm gonna check on my other two mini hives. Okay, let's get in there. All right, this is just water. It's been getting hot. I'll make sure the bees have enough to drink. Give them a little puff to let them know I'm coming. Five tool. Make sure my queen's not on the inner cover. So this is early July. We're probably coming into dearth. The flowers are starting to be finished blooming. So this is a period where there's no nectar. Hive checks should probably become more less frequent because bees are cranky when there's not a lot to eat. That's very heavy. Good one next on there. Alright, bees in here as well. I'm gonna replace some of these frames with the uh, spun out frames. Okay. This is a frame that has nothing on it, so I'll replace that with a drawn frame. I'll show you what I'm doing here. So that was an empty frame. I'm just gonna put this back in here. It's got honey all over it. The bees will clean that right up. Now when I'm in the hive, I try to move really slowly. I'm always trying to tell myself to calm down. I move slowly. So this is not drawn out. This is a foundation frame. So I'm gonna replace that with a uh, drawn frame. Now these are acting queenless, I'm thinking. See how they're kind of just bouncing all over the place? I wonder if they've swarmed again. Hmm. That's something we'd like to avoid. <laughs> and if that's the case, then I'm just gonna get a queen right away. I'm not gonna allow them to requeen themselves because that's a very long process. And these girls have already done that. All right, so foundation. Oh, high beetle, squash. Oh, 
I'm starting to draw this one out. So I leave that one in there. This one too is getting drawn. I'll leave that one in there as well. Okay. Now I'll push these all back together again. This is basically a become a this is basically a super. So no word of that. Alright, where's my excluder? Okay, we'll take this box off. Hopefully we'll find some brood in here. Last time I put a, a frame of eggs in here to see if they would make a super seizure just in case they needed a queen. So let's see what's going on there. I believe I put that here. Let's see what's going on in here. So these frames are both getting drawn a little bit, which is good. Just a little bit of drying out. No eggs. And now I've got some room to investigate. Blank, a little bit drawn, no eggs. Nectar, blank, nothing. You scrape out some of this propolis they've got here. It makes for manipulating the frames really difficult, so I always try to clean up while I go along. The bees use propolis to seal up the hive. This is all pollen and nectar. Alrighty, so bad news in Big Hive. So the last time I was in here, I added a frame of eggs from my other hive, and indeed the bees took it to, as an opportunity to create super seizure cells. So it looks like I should have gotten here a couple days earlier because those cells have now hatched. Now had I gotten here earlier, I could have probably stuck in a queen and just got eliminated the super seizure cells because then I would have known for sure, yes, they are queenless. But now those cells are all open, which means there are virgin queens roaming around. And if I try to introduce a queen now, they'll probably kill her. So biggest lesson in beekeeping is get on it <laughs> right away. We had some really extreme high temperatures this past week and high humidity, so I didn't want to go in there, but I probably should have went in there anyways to check things out. So I think at this point, because there are either virgin queens in the hive crawling around or out and about today getting mated, that I probably should back off in trying to introduce a queen, which kind of sets these girls back a little bit because she has to, of course, get mated and then start laying. Yeah lessons learned. Holy smokes, this will be the at least second or third queen in this hive for just this year. Yeah. Talk about learning curve. That's okay. Lots to learn. All right, I'm going to quickly go into my Grant Reba hive over there and give them some more syrup. They've been downing syrup like crazy. I've been adding about 36 ounces about every two days or so, and uh, that one seems to be doing well. The new doesn't seem to be doing all that well. That queen is not a good layer. I could introduce, I, I initially started that nuke because I thought if I ever lost this one, I could substitute that queen in, or introduce that queen into this hive. It was my backup hive, but she has not been laying very well. I'm gonna peek in there. I just peeked in there a couple days ago and very few eggs and it's the population has not been growing. I last week introduced a frame of brood with nurse bees and brood with the hopes that that would kind of 
booster. Sometimes that when you introduce more bees to help around with doing some of the tasks, the queen is motivated to lay more. But when I checked in there two days ago, there were very few eggs, maybe just uh, 10 eggs. They were singly laid, so I know it's her. And I saw the queen, but she doesn't seem to be doing that well. So my plan so far um, right now is to replace her. And yeah, this one looks like it's on the way of replacing itself. And if it doesn't, it's not successful, then I will, of course, introduce a mated queen here. So waiting on that one, but let's go check out the Reba Hive real quick. So it's the first week of July, and I think dearth, if it's not here, it's uh, approaching. Dearth is the period, of course, when flowers stop blooming, or there's no flowers blooming, and there, are, there isn't a good source of nectar. So, Bees are understandably more cranky. So here is my feeder frame right here. And that holds up to a gallon of syrup. This is an internal feeder. And I'm gonna add some more, another 36 ounces of uh, syrup. This is just one-to-one -one syrup, one-to-one -one ratio of sugar to water. This is the bee's source of carbohydrates. This is what allows them to draw comb. So any new hives, new packages that don't have any drawn foundation need a constant source of syrup so they can draw as quickly as possible, draw out frames as quickly as possible. Okay, so that gives them about a gallon of syrup. That should tie them over for a while. Uh, a couple days ago, I also gave them some pollen patty. Looks like I'll be needing to give them some more of that. That is a pollen substitute. They need that for brood rearing. So I'm going to just take a peek down below and see if I can spot the queen. Oh, sorry girls. This is very heavy. Oh, look at that. That's what you want to see in a hive. Good population of bees in there. All right, I'm just going to see if I can see indication of eggs. And then I know my queen is here. Empty foundation frame. That looks like a syrup frame. So I'm going to put the foundation frame in here so we can draw it out. There's some brood, recently hatched brood. Capped. This is honey syrup. So I'm going to switch this empty foundation frame and put that in here. Take this out for a moment. Just want to see some eggs. Nice brood pattern. Both sides capped. Great. Honey on the south sides. Don't see pollen's door, so they're low on pollen. Usually pollen's on the outside of these frames as well, so I'll continue giving them pollen patty. Pollen substitute. More brood, more syrup. Don't see my queen so far. She's blue, so she should be easy to spot. I don't see her here either. A little bit worrisome. No supersedure, no swarm. Let's see. Oh, these are all filled with eggs. Good. Every single one of those cells is filled with eggs. And this is recently hatched. Great. Now, I could see my queen that was in this. Beautiful frame of brood. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Great egg laying. Queenie. Alright. I don't see her, but I see eggs, so I'm just going to button this up. Yeah. These are quickly going over this way. Why are they going that way? I don't know. Some of these curled down a little bit. So I can close up these frames a little better. Without squishing anybody.
All right, let's just button things up. I saw eggs, that's all I want to see. Okay, so that was the Reba hive. I didn't see my queen, but I didn't want to poke in there too long. I did see a nice frame of eggs. This hive looks to be doing really well. And the nuke, I'm not going to poke around in too much because I just went in there two days ago and she was not laying well. So this one I'm planning on requeening as soon as I get some new queens. Li Ying says she's got some queens. So yeah, the plan is Li Ying is raising queens. They should be ready early next week in the next couple of days so I'm going to requeen the nuke and I'll talk to her about the main hive but I suspect I'll probably just have to let them do their thing since the super seizure cells were already hatched. Alrighty, <laughs> thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye!